atoned for the beach as part of the summer ritual. And it isn't easy with all the socializing that takes place at this time of year. This isn't a problem for Rushda Musaji, who turned her fitness fanaticism into a successful career. Michelle met up with her for a workout. Known as Rishta Mosuji, when she entered the fitness industry, she's now Mrs. Rishta Ibrahim. But marriage hasn't mellowed her, and don't be fooled by those doe-eyed model looks. They say dynamite comes in small packages, and I've been told that Rishta Ibrahim is one tough lady who's definitely going to put me through my paces. Suddenly I'm feeling scared. Rishta describes herself not as a personal trainer or fitness instructor, but rather as a women's motivator. Being fitter, stronger and healthier is the key to enhanced self-confidence. Rushta, you've had quite an interesting roundabout entry into the fitness industry. Can you tell me a bit more about that? I was a graphic designer. Uh, you know, with corporate life, you put on a bit of weight. Um, I decided that it wasn't for me anymore and I started doing some freelance marketing work and then I stumbled upon a personal trainer who introduced me to this functional training style. And that's how I got into it and one thing led to another. It changed my life and I became a trainer. Now, as a young businesswoman, what sort of challenges have you faced? In this industry, the market's very saturated. There are personal trainers wherever you go. I mean, anybody can just, you know, any monkey can lift weights and tell somebody how to train. Uh, you have to find a niche market and luckily I've secured that niche market. You also can't operate in the way that I do, where I offer group classes for women um, in any other, um, let's say, commercial gym. So it's very difficult to find a space that is perfect for the women um, and perfect for myself. So I've been lucky enough, you know, um, sometimes you open up your, your dreams to the universe and then just shows you the way, so yeah. You cater specifically to women. Why do you think this is so important? I focus on women because there's a need for women who want to be in a secure and safe environment. Um, I create that environment in my gym and in my studio. Um, I set the tone, the attitude. Um, it's kind of a support structure for the women. So a lot of the times I have women who contact me and they're like, um, I don't want to go to the gym, I don't know, I don't want to see the guys. So they come in here, like if you, you know, if you wear hijab, you can come in, you can take your scarf off. Um, the girls can train in their sports bras, you know, we don't care like what the hair is like. It's a very safe environment in that way that they are away from everything else. What's it like when you get some positive feedback from your clients who've literally transformed their life? I really have like people doing complete 180 of their life on, on all aspects, be it um, personal weight gain, careers, family. I see families come to, coming more together, um, doing fitness orientated dates with their husbands. So. Yeah, it's, it's more of a holistic thing than just flexing your bicep. Rishta believes that discipline entails choosing between what you want now and what you want most. This can mean pushing just a little bit closer to the limit, but she also has her gentler side. Rishta, normally you offer classes to the fairer sex. I've invited a few of my friends. Do you think they're going to cope with the challenge? I hope they'll make it through because some of the women actually suffer, but... Let's see if the guys bring it, yeah. Well, it looks like they've arrived. Okay. Right, so you're going to keep your shoes on. We're just going to start with the basic warm-up first before we get onto the mat. I need you boys to grab a bag each, and we're going to do just some cardio on the stairs. Okay, so grab a bag, put it on your shoulder. Okay, then just follow me. Okay, let's go. You're going to take the bag. Brace your core. So, Michelle, you've got to keep this core nice and strong. You're going to run down the stairs. So, you're going to run down. When you get to the bottom, you're going to run back up. Let's do this. We're showing the woman we can do this. Don't hold into the railing. Hold those bags. Right. I'll go. <sighs> Watch your step, okay? I don't want anyone tripping. Try not to keep your hand on the railing. I want you to use those abs. Yeah, let's oh. get the shoulders going. Come on. Awesome, guys. You must be feeling pretty warm. Very warm, out of breath. Okay, great. So what we're going to do now, we, we're just going to open up the hips a bit. So I'm just going to take you through a stretch. We're just going to drop down onto the floor. You're going to drop your left knee back behind you. Make sure that there's a big space in between your thighs. Okay, you want your right foot flat. Then just bring your body weight down onto the knee. So we're stretching this left hip flexor over here. Straighten the right leg. Bending down, bow, bowing forward, okay. Because guys like shoulders. Okay, just rolling forward. You're gonna get your feet up. No, no, you can. There's no can't in my gym. 
Oh. But I want the bum in the air when you're doing that push up. One, two, overhead. Two up at rows. One, two, standing. Grab the weight. Two, elbows up. Grab the weight. We're going to squat. One. Well, there you have it. I am completely finished, and Rushta is all fresh and energetic. If this were the title battle for the fittest, Rushta happily takes the title.